just before we get into this video, I just want to say that I can go in all different directions. I can go from one thing to the next, back to the other. I'm just trying to speak my mind, get a few things off my chest that I want to talk about. Just let you know what's going on, okay? And I'll work on a Call of Duty gameplay for you guys right after this video. So how are you going everyone? My name is Zach Waters and welcome to a vlog slash talk kind of video. I don't have any gameplay to show you guys. I just want a personal kind of video. I t take a bit of time to sit down with you guys and talk to you guys just about what's, uh, what's going on. I've got a whole bunch of things here to go through. I've written them down on a little piece of paper. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the first thing. This is probably the most important. I'm not sure if it's the most important, but it's pretty important. And that is, my girlfriend and I are probably going to be moving back into Dad's by the end of the year. Halfway through this month or so. And the reason for that is things aren't going as we planned, really. We had everything, we talked about everything when moving here. You know, the start of our life, but things, yeah, here with her, with her dad and her partner. It just hasn't been what we thought and hasn't, you know, benefited in any way. And here we're just, we're literally spending every day in this room. We've been here for about two months and not once have I sat on the couch in the lounge room and watched TV. The only time I go into that room is entering the house and coming into this room. As much as I love playing PlayStation, Call of Duty, watching movies, it's not good enough. It's, you know, it's pretty shit. So I'm not too sure how it's going to work. We still haven't confirmed that we're leaving. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be. So that means I'm going to have to move every fucking thing once again back into my old room. I promise you I'm not looking forward to that whatsoever. I am not looking forward to it. I might do vlogs once again throughout the move. But if I can't make any videos or upload, then I'm sorry. I'll tell everyone on Twitter. If you haven't, follow me on Twitter. I, f I tell everyone what's going on with videos as I've said previously before. The bottom line is that things didn't go how we thought we need to get out of here. Now the next one that I want to talk about is something that I got messaged on Twitter. I won't show the message. It mainly concerns small YouTubers such as myself. It's pretty much about subscribers, views and your audience. Now if you were to watch PewDiePie, Markiplier, Ali A, name a big YouTuber, one of them, and they have a serious talk like we are now. They'll talk to you guys about subscribers if you want to start like, like uh, the tips and tricks or whatever to starting a YouTube channel. They'll say that subscribers don't matter and you shouldn't have to worry about them. But the issue here is for a small YouTuber like myself, as I've said, subscribers matter. You know, they're your audience. And you spend, who knows, depending on how good your quality is, how good you promote yourself, and if people want to share around, it could take, I don't know, maybe a couple dozen videos to get a subscriber or more. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because a few weeks ago, maybe a month, actually like a month or so ago, I celebrated 100 subscribers. I hit the miles, the first big milestone of 100, 100 subs. And I've noticed over the past few weeks, it's people are leaving. I'm now at like 91, I think. To a small YouTuber, that kills, you know? You try and make the best content. You just pretty much want to get everyone to come in and watch your videos. And to see that number going down and down, it fucking sucks. To massive YouTubers, subscribers don't matter, you know? But to someone like myself or even smaller, just starting out, subscribers are like the most important thing going in their head. Like they want people to come and watch them and enjoy their videos. The next thing I want to talk about is just life in general. The reason I'm bringing this up is because of all the shit that's been going on here and you know, just in the past. So what I'm trying to say is that no matter what gets you guys down, whatever obstacle comes into your way, there's always hope. You have a way to get out. You've got people to talk to. You might know that you can go to those people because you might think they'll laugh, they'll criticize you, they'll go tell other people. In a way, that's a risk you have to take to make yourself feel better, not bottle it up anymore. But that person could turn around, help you, not say anything to anyone, and change your perspective on everything. There's always a bright light at the end of the tunnel, no matter how pitch black it is. You'll always find a way out. And lastly, the big one, the giveaway. This ties in with support as well. Since I announced it, 
a whole bunch of people have been supporting me, you know, through social media and YouTube itself, you know, leaving likes, comments, saying, good video, man. I'm talking about you, Kev Lad, and the Rabbit Lad. I have noticed you. I have noticed your shit. You guys are cool. But there's people on Twitter sending me messages. I thought about this for a little bit, and I'm going to change the way that I'm going to do the winners. Whoever's been showing me a whole fuckload of support, I will message you on Twitter and ask you what would you prefer. If you prefer the Call of Duty skin and control skin, tell me, and I'll, I'll give you that one. If you want the letter and signed whatever, signed fucking USB, <laughs> I don't fucking know. If you want that, let me know. If you just want to come play a game with me, let me know. If you want a shout out on this channel, let me know. If you want to join a party, play Call of Duty with me, tell me. I'll let you guys choose your prize. So hopefully this wasn't too confusing. I'm sorry. My content hasn't been as good as it has been. Friday I uploaded a video of myself just pretty much raging through Call of Duty. The reason for that, I had nothing to talk about. The game was just fucking frustrating. So once again, I want to say thank you to everyone who stuck around this channel. I will always update you guys on what's going on. So, so stick around on my Twitter. Keep an eye on there. I'll let everyone know about what's going on with me and my girlfriend moving. If it's going to happen, if it's not what the dealio is on all the videos. I, I honestly appreciate having you guys stick by my channel and enjoying what I do, you know? But thank you everyone and I'll see everyone in the next video. <laughs>